But you know what? I'm also a model, but plus size model only. <laughs> Hi, my name is Fiona Tan and I'm a two-time plus-size beauty queen. This year, I organized Singapore's first plus-size international beauty pageant. Growing up, I actually did have some body image issues. Like, it stemmed a lot from family first because my dad, he wasn't very supportive of me being a plus-size girl. I would get punished just because I didn't run on my treadmill for like an hour a day. There were times that I was pretty sad about it. I just thought, Okay, maybe I should try and lose weight. Up to like when I was 21, I actually did try a full body liposuction procedure in Thailand. After the full body procedure, it was actually worse because eating wise, um, I have to eat like a bird, like this much only every meal. And because like I mentioned, my metabolic rate was very low because I just depended on the procedure. I needed to increase it, so I had to exercise with a personal trainer every day. It felt like I'm doing everything that like any other skinny person was supposed to do and how come like still this is so hard. So after two and a half years, I actually ate my way back. My body type is a little bit different. I would say that a lot of it is genetic. A lot of people just think that just because I'm plus size, I like fried food or I like tidbits and sweets and um, it's not true. I just eat my usual stuff. Maybe meat pork or chicken rice. <laughs> so it's the same. It's just like Genetically, it's really quite tough and things so little made me really really unhappy. I felt like I lost my personality, I was um, half my current size, but I was a little bit more mean. <laughs> I just think that this is my personal choice and I, I want to stay this way and it makes me a lot happier, that's all. The aim of the pageant was to challenge Asian stereotypes about what beauty really is. By organizing the beauty pageant, I actually want to encourage body positivity not encourage um, or glorify obesity. A lot of people actually have a misunderstanding and these girls actually do eat healthy. They actually do have a healthy lifestyle. They're just born this way and they really accept themselves for who they are. So I do admire them for that. We all as women, we go through this process of um, growing and changing. As you grow, you learn that in your flaws, there's beauty and in your scars, there's a story. So I think you've got to learn how to embrace it and together, empowered, we can achieve it. Love yourself, love the world and make sure that you believe in your core values, believe in your beauty and rock it. You have to stand up for yourself and just be yourself, be confident, be proud of yourself. Because beauty comes in different sizes. I'm not saying that, hey look at fat girls and then you're supposed to feel confident. It's not that way. It's just that these ladies, they have come so far being um, someone who has been bullied when they're during their childhood because of how they looked having to embrace their lifestyle and curves despite a lot of dirty looks or you know comments if a plus size girl can be confident any other size should be able to look up to that girl as a body positive role model Having been through the pageant myself last year, um, this is the first time I actually started organizing this pageant and it was done within a very short time so this experience was um, pretty overwhelming but very positive. My focus was to impact the society and empower women. This time, whatever came my way, I just told myself like be focused because a lot of people can benefit from this and I think the girls all went home having an experience of their lifetime themselves as well.